Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about process termination. So basically a process terminates when it finishes executing its final statement and it asks the operating system to delete it by using the exit system call. And since the process has finished its execution, so execution, so uh, the resources acquired by process should be uh, released by the operating system because since the process is terminating, so uh, those resources can be allocated to, to some other process, right? So the operating system deallocates all the resources of the process, including physical virtual memory, open files, etc. Okay, and when a process terminates, it returns a status value to its parent process via wait system call. Now, basically what happens when you are creating a child of a process and when the child terminates, it returns a status to his parent so that if the parent uh, when the parent executes the wait system call, it can know that the child has uh, terminated its execution using the status returned by the child process and hence the parent process removes the entry of the child process from the process table because that process has terminated now. Okay, so that is why the status value is returns to its parent. Now a parent may, process can terminate the child process and obviously no other process and any other any process cannot terminate any other process it can terminate any other process only if it is a parent of that process now a parent may terminate the child process for the following reason suppose the child has executed exceeded the usage of some resources so in that case the parent may terminate the child process and for determining this the parent must have some mechanism so that it can know that the child has exceeded the limit of using this resources. So it, for inspecting the state of its children, it should have some mechanism for that. Now, suppose the parent process has, I mean, using fork, you created a child process, but parent has terminated and the operating system that you're working on does not allow a child to continue if the parent terminates. So in that case, due to because the parent has terminated, the child process will also be terminated. Okay. And then the other reason can be the task, suppose the child process was created for doing some task, which and that task is no longer required. So in that case, also the parent may terminate the child process. Right now, some system do not allow a child to exist it exist if the parent has terminated. So basically, if parent has terminated, it will delete all the child. It will terminate all the child process also. And this is known as cascading termination. So in cascading termination, child process are terminated when its parent has terminated. OK, this is known as cascading termination. Now, the next term is zombie process. So a process which has terminated, but whose parent has not yet called wait is known as zombie process. Now, why it is known as zombie process when the parent has not called wait? Actually, what happens when uh, you when a child is created using the fork system call, we all know that the child process replicates the parent process address space, right? And parent, if the parent waits uh, for the child using the wait system call, then the parent is suspended until the child terminates. Right. So basically, when the child terminates, a status is generated, which is sent to the parent and parent on receiving that status, it removes the child from the process table because the process has terminated. So operating system will deallocate all the resources acquired by the child, but parent will remove the entry from its entry from the process table. So up suppose if, if now suppose if the parent has not called wait so the child has terminated all the resources everything is deallocated by the operating system but its entry is still there in the process table because the parent has not called wait so parent don't know that the child has executed uh, terminated right so there is an entry of that child process corresponding to that child where the status is stored because the it, because the parent has not removed it. So 
that kind of process is known as zombie process because its parent has not yet called wait once the parent calls the wait the process identifier of the zombie process and its entry is removed from the process table okay so and uh, and now suppose the parent uh, decides not to wait for the child process termination and it is executing its subsequent task then when the child process term, uh, terminates the exit system uh, exit status will not be read because the parent reads the exit is uh, exit status using the wait system call but the parent instead of waiting it has decided to uh, do its subsequent task so in that case the child process has terminated but some of its traces are still there in the process table so some traces of the process which has terminated still exist in the system so hence it is a zombie process and so basically a child process always becomes a zombie because it's not necessary that as the child terminates immediately the parent process will call the wait system call so a child process always first becomes a zombie process before being removed from the process table let's look at the this diagram and understand suppose this is the parent process and it has executed the poke system call okay so this child process is there and this child process has uh, using the exec it has changed the uh, you know it, it is doing some other task because you have changed the program address space using the exec system call now the child process is executing but the parent is waiting for the child to complete once the child process has terminated it will execute the exit system call and since it has exited the i mean it has executed the exit system call so it will become a zombie process and once the parent receives this signal using wait then it this process entry will be removed from the process table and hence it will be remove from the uh, process table and hence it will not be a zombie process now and then the parent process will continue okay so basically a zombie process is a process which has uh, terminated but its entry is still there in process table because its parent has not yet called the wait system call and what if the now consider what would happen if a parent did not invoke wait and instead it terminates so in that case since the parent has terminated so the child process will not have any parent so hence it will become a become an orphan process so a process whose parent no more exist that is they it, it the parent is either finished or terminated without waiting for its child process to terminate is known as the or known as an orphan process so since we discussed just now that the parent process uh removes the entry from the process table but if the parent has terminated then who is going to remove the uh entry from the process table for this orphan process so the init process is assigned as the new parent to the orphan process and init pro init process is basically the root of process hierarchy that we have so init process is assigned as the new parent to the orphan process and in init, init process keeps on checking using the wait system call uh, that if the child process has terminated and no, or not and once that child process terminates it allows the exit status of any orphan process to be collected and hence it will release orphan process identifier from the process table okay so since this uh, orphan process has been assigned a new parent which is in it so now it is the responsibility of in it to wait for the child and then remove its entry from the process table okay uh, let's look at an example for this so in this main we have this fork system call and we know that fork system call returns a value greater than 0 when the parent is running and it returns 0 when the child is executing so if the pid is greater than 0 that means process parent is executing so it will print in parent process but if the child parallelly the child is also executing so pid will be zero but if the child is executing it is sleeping for 30 seconds okay so this child process is sleeping for 30 second but this parent has finished its execution because it was just supposed to print so it it, it has printed so 
the child the parent process will terminate because we don't have anything after this else if block so this parent process will terminate while this child is sleeping and then after 30 second it will execute this so since the child process exist but the parent has terminated instead of waiting for the child now this child process will be an orphan process okay so the difference between zombie and orphan in zombie a process is a known as zombie if its parent has not executed the wait system call yet and hence its entry is still there in the process table but a process is known as orphan when its parent instead of waiting for that child to complete it has terminated so since the parent has terminated the parent of child does not exist hence it will be an orphan process if you have any queries please drop them in the comment section thank you